Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making a summertime favorite of mine and that is a BLT. I love a good BLT. Tomato season is here and tomatoes grown in the wiregrass area. I'm just telling you, there are none better. They come from all over to get tomatoes from here. Slocum tomatoes are especially a favorite. And this tomato right here is perfection to me. These come from Hendricks Farm and Produce. Oh my goodness, if you have not gone to visit them, you need to. They have every homegrown vegetable that you can imagine. Fresh squash, fresh peas, fresh watermelons and cantaloupes, and of course, course these tomatoes. Hmm. I can hardly wait. Now I am making a little bit of a special sauce to go with this BLT. If you're one that just likes mayonnaise, then by all means just use mayonnaise. And I love a good tomato sandwich with mayonnaise only. But today I'm going to show you a little something extra that is amazing. Now this is fresh garlic. <laughs> if you've watched any of my videos, you know that my husband is not a garlic lover. And he's like the princess in the pea when it comes to garlic. I keep it in a Ziploc baggie because if he thinks he smells it, then uh-oh, we're in trouble. I'm just going to break off one clove. I'm gonna seal this back up. <laughs> I've been cooking my bacon over here and I'm hoping that the bacon will take away the aroma of the fresh garlic. And what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna peel this. And if you'll take your garlic and put it flat on your cutting board and just gently give it a little smack the peel should come right off. There we go. Now I'm only making one sandwich. My husband is not a tomato lover either, unless it's on a pizza or in spaghetti sauce. So this tomato sandwich will be all of mine. Now I've got two tablespoons of mayonnaise and I am going to add just a little bit of this fresh garlic. Now, Fresh garlic can get overpowering really quick. So I'm going to grate it rather than chop it up. And I'm just adding just a tiny little bit. There we go. Now, if you want more, definitely use more. And I'm just gonna take my finger and look, this will be perfect. Now, I'm gonna go wash my hands. I'll give you a little tip. After you wash your hands, if you will rub them on stainless steel, it'll take away the odor of garlic or onions or fishy smells, just whatever you don't like. So, I'll let you know if it works. It worked. No garlic. Now, I'm just gonna mix this garlic right in just that little bit. You can also use garlic powder, but if you have fresh garlic, hey, go for it. It's so good. Now, a match made in heaven is tomatoes and fresh basil. And I have some fresh basil right here, and I'm just gonna grab a few leaves, and I'm gonna roll them in. Cut this up. Oh, I love fresh basil. I keep it on my porch growing most of the time. We've had some hot temperatures lately. We got up to almost 105 the other day. And so my basil does not like it that hot. There we go. Now, I'm just gonna put this right into my mayonnaise and stir this up. If you have any leftover, it's delicious with chicken. I know it sounds a little strange, but oh, I make paninis with this, chicken paninis, and I've been known to dip a french fry in it or two. <laughs> it is so good. Okay, now I'm gonna set this aside, 
And now let's talk about this tomato. Like I said, to me, this is perfection. It's got just a few little blisters on top, so I know that it's spent lots of time in the sun. And I'm just gonna cut that end right off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. Hmm. Oh, and they smell so good. There's such a difference from getting your tomatoes at a local farm stand versus the grocery store. Oh, they don't put all those chemicals on them to turn them red and then you cut in them and they're green in the middle. There's nothing worse. And no flavor. These will have plenty of flavor. Now I'm cutting this in nice thick slices. And I think that's gonna be good for one sandwich. Now this has got a lot of juice in it. So what I'm gonna do while I'm preparing my bread, I'm gonna lay this tomato on my paper towel and just let it soak that up a little bit. Now, if you like the juice, if you want a wrist licking tomato sandwich, then don't lay it on a paper towel. But just gonna put some salt on these. Now, let's talk about the bread. There are so many different ways to make a BLT. You can make it with sourdough bread and toast it, grill it, make it with white bread. I love them both, but I don't have any sourdough bread today, so I'm using just my plain white bread. And I wanna tell you, this brand right here, if you have access to it, it's Martin's Potato Bread. This is our absolute favorite. It is so moist and has flavor and is so, so good. Yum. Now I'm gonna get a couple of slices. And just get some of this good mayonnaise on there. Tell me, are you a Duke's? Are you a Hellman's? Are you a Kraft Mayo person? I like Duke's. My husband likes Hellman's, so we have a little bit of both in the refrigerator. I was introduced to Duke's mayonnaise years ago when I worked for HEB. I had never heard of it, and they had just started getting it in Texas, and it was a phenomenon. And I've loved it ever since. My bread, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Oh my goodness. I forgot the L in my BLT. I'll be right back. There we go. <laughs> I'm using romaine just because that's what I have in my refrigerator. And I do start with the lettuce down on the bread. And just gonna put just a little bit more on there. Mmm. And now for these delicious tomatoes. Mmm. Now, a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, some crispy bacon. And on with the bread. Doesn't that look wonderful? Ooh. I'm about to do something. I've got my pan that I cooked my bacon in and I've got it set on a medium heat. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this right in this bacon fat. I'm not gonna butter my bread. I'm just gonna let a little bit of that bacon grease get right into that bread and just toast it just a little bit. Look at this. If you think it looks good, you ought to smell it right now. 
I think this is perfect. Just see how it's lightly toasted. Just that little bit of crisp on the outside, but on the inside, it's still nice and soft. And that bacon flavor from a little bit of the bacon drippings, getting into that bread. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Now I'm just gonna slice this because it always needs to be sliced and on the die in my world because there's nothing better than having that bite right there. Hey, you know what's good on this too? A little bit of avocado. Yum. All right, let's see how we did. Oh my goodness, y'all. There are no words for this. This is comfort food at its best. And I've got a little bit of juice. And I know as I eat the rest of this, I might be licking my wrist at the end. Y'all, make you one of these classic BLT sandwiches. Look how much sauce I have left over. Mm, believe me, this won't go to waste. You're a blessing to me. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. I read every one of your comments, and I can't tell you how much they mean to me. Mm, go and make you a BLT. And I'll see you next time. Bye.